Developing involve making mistakes along the way. Errors are inevitable. But if you can, avoid costly mistakes when money is at risk. They will also tell you that, at least in hindsight, most errors might have been prevented. Prepare yourself by learning. Keep an eye out. The greatest ways to avoid the 12 financial blunders to watch out for in your 20s are listed below. Never learning to budget is the first point. Many 20-somethings associate budgeting with having enough cash on hand to cover expenses. This include making their rent payments on time, going out on the town, and avoiding overdrafts. They'll come to understand as they become older that money needs to work hard, outside of happy hour. Where does your labor-intensive cash go? How are you making future preparations? If you are unable to respond to these inquiries, it's time to face reality. You can achieve that by using a budget. It will keep track of your requirements and wants while highlighting the luxuries you buy on a daily basis. Start keeping track of how money is allocated between expenses, loans, and savings so that you may start thinking ahead rather than just focusing on the here and now. How to prevent it? By analyzing your income and expenses, create a budget. Income should be greater than expenses, including debt repayment, savings contributions, and future investment. If it doesn't, reduce the non-essentials in your budget. Number 2. Not establishing financial objectives. Saving gives our money structure. We can create and order goals that will affect our ability to succeed financially both now and in the future. Without monetary objectives, our aspirations stay unfulfilled and out of grasp. Long-term financial goals include saving for a down payment or a retirement account, while short-term goals include building up an emergency fund or purchasing a laptop. Choose whatever aim you choose. The crucial step in making your ambitions a reality is to just get started. How to prevent it? Make a plan for establishing and achieving financial objectives. Sort out your spending so that you can apply any spare money to a project. Keep going after achieving one goal and move on to the next. 3. Relying on your parents. Even a connection between a parent and their adult child might become tense due to money. It's unsafe and irresponsible to fall behind on your rent because you spend your money on social activities. That's not to imply it's a negative thing to have parents who are willing to lend a hand when you're struggling financially. In reality, having a support network is essential during trying times. Just be mindful not to abuse anyone's generosity or financial resources. Having a stable financial future is a necessary component of adulthood. Don't assume your parents will help you out of a financial predicament you caused yourself. The same is true of other kinds of connections, like those with friends or partners. Remove money as a factor to maintain your connections. Young adults should have a solid financial foundation so they won't need to borrow money from others. If a sudden financial problem arises, be sure the loan request is one time or temporary. How to prevent it? Eliminate reliance on money. No matter where you reside, start with being independent. Make your own food, clean up your own messes, and do your own laundry. Apply such abilities to your financial routines. Make a budget, handle your own billing, and rely on your funds for unplanned expenses. Ignoring student loan debt is number four. Twenty-somethings run the danger of harming their credit by neglecting college loans. Student loan late payments that are reported have a negative effect on credit reports. A negative entry on a credit report lowers credit score, which makes it more challenging to get the best interest rates in the future. Maintaining organization is the simplest approach to prevent this. Understand the total cost of each loan, the monthly payment due, the date it is due, and the appropriate payment method. Do loan payments cost too much? Fortunately, the federal student loan forbearance covers the majority of federal student debts. Before skipping a payment, there are a number of additional options to cooperate with the federal government or a private lender. Take into account a different repayment schedule, consolidation, refinancing, or a deferment. How to prevent it? Make a plan for paying off student loans before you graduate. Find out if your debts are eligible for a grace period and how long it will last. Pay the minimal amount needed once repayment has begun, and then make extra installments as your financial situation permits. Number 5 borrowing money on a credit card. Debts are not all created equal. Due to interest and fees, having credit cards that are maxed out is actually one of the greatest financial loads you can have. Credit card companies bombard young people with offers for credit cards for a reason. Young adults are frequently seduced by claims of discounted rates, free trials, and other benefits. 
Unfortunately, a lot of people lack the financial maturity needed to manage credit. A cycle of large balances and minimum payments characterizes credit card debt. Your credit score can suffer from credit abuse, and it might take years to recover. How to prevent it? As a general guideline, avoid using credit until you can pay it off completely each month. Have you already accrued credit card debt? Make a bold plan to quickly pay it off. Spending more than you make is number six. Spending excessively on luxuries like clothing, trips, and electronics might be alluring. You might be forced to choose high interest options if your wage is insufficient to pay for those non-essentials. Debt, hello. Learning to live within your means is a fundamental lesson in financial literacy. Stop exceeding your income with your spending. In general, income should exceed expenses. If it doesn't, then stop spending too much and revamp your spending plan. How to prevent it? Live within your means to avoid getting into debt. Limit new purchases, borrow, and comparison shop. Above all, avoid using expensive objects to fill voids. Possessive spending behaviors can be prevented from beginning by learning to be appreciative for what you already have. Number 7. Failing to start saving. Early saving is important. The future appears so far away to many young people that they find it difficult to begin saving. In actuality, starting a savings account as soon as feasible is the best way to ensure your financial future. This is primarily because compound interest has positive effects. Interest on interest is known as compound interest. It promotes financial growth, but only after a while. Compound interest will be reaped by setting money aside in an emergency fund, which will also serve as a safety net in case of unforeseen costs. The following are the kinds of unforeseen expenses for which you should plan. Joblessness. Healthcare, dental, or vision costs. Auto repairs. Home improvement. Replacement of electronics. Taxes. You'll soon find yourself in major financial problems if you don't have any money saved up. These unforeseen expenses are unavoidable. It's best to plan ahead and stay away from more expensive options, like utilizing credit or getting a loan for medical costs. How to prevent it? Set aside enough cash to pay for costs for three to six months. In the event of an unexpected expense, an emergency fund can be helpful. Start small and steadily build up your safety net, whether it's an emergency fund or a regular savings account. Number 8. Failing to make retirement account contributions. 20-somethings are missing out if they don't contribute to an IRA or a business 401k. Be mindful that time is on your side. Compound interest works in your favor when you start saving for retirement in your 20s. By the time you reach age 66, at which point you become eligible for full retirement benefits, early contributions will have increased significantly. Young adults may also be passing up business money in addition to missing out on the beauty of compound interest. That's accurate. Many businesses match employees' retirement contributions up to a specified amount, usually 6%. Employees who choose to open a 401k plan and make a predetermined contribution may be eligible to earn a bonus contribution from their employer. That is free cash. It might result in having tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars more over the course of a lifetime. How to prevent it? Financial experts advise investing at least 15% of your salary toward retirement. Take advantage of the full benefit if your employer provides a matching contribution, free its money. 9. Refusing to obtain insurance. Think having insurance is useless if you're a responsible, healthy 20-something. Think again. Young people are not immune to danger. When you're dealing with debt due to a medical emergency or property damage, it's crucial to understand that sooner rather than later. Various types of insurance are available to shield consumers from the worst-case situation. A program called insurance enables policyholders to safeguard themselves from catastrophe. Your monthly contribution is pooled together and paid in. The pool covers a person's expenses in the event of adversity, such as injury, illness, property damage, or death. Prior to a necessity, insurance should be acquired. It's always better to be safe than sorry. If you don't have insurance, you might have to spend all of your funds or turn to high interest credit to pay your bills. How to prevent it? Decide on your insurance coverage. Pay a modest monthly fee rather than a huge expense in case of an emergency. Get all your bases covered, including life, disability, health, dental, and vision insurance as well as renters or homeowners insurance. Number 10. Residing in an expensive city. Young adults appreciate living in large cities. Why would they not? 
Cities are constantly alive with cultural activities, a thriving nightlife, and a high concentration of other young people. But there is a price for all of that activity. Cities are costly. Just consider Los Angeles or New York City. One paycheck can be required to rent a small, expensive apartment. A smaller city, a suburb, or even a rural location shouldn't be completely disregarded by young people. The cost of living in a big city is high. Imagine using that money somewhere else. Repaying student loan debt. Creating an emergency savings account. Constructing investments. When your home isn't your biggest expense, there are countless opportunities. How to prevent it. Compare the cost of living in several locations before deciding where to pursue your postgraduate studies. Don't discount less expensive small towns and big cities. In fact, after you're past your 20s, you could start to appreciate the less expensive lifestyle in a small town. Subscribe for more content like this.